Hi, Progster here with a short video showing you how to get chords from Scalar into the Cubase chord pads. Here I've opened up a brand new project uh, in Cubase just so we can see the whole process. Um, and we're going to start from the beginning. We'll go ahead and add the an instrument track with Scalar 2. And this will just take a second and we'll have our Scalar there. Scalar track is there. I drag it in and we can see uh, we'll go ahead and scale it. We'll select some chords. How about some Neo Soul chords? Okay, our goal is to get these chords right here, these eight chords, uh, into the Cubase chord pads. So here's how you do it. Uh, first, it's worth pointing out that while you can drag the chords in and get them as MIDI, okay, and then once you double click to open that up, come down here and open the chord pads. What you cannot do is drag the chords onto the chord pads. That doesn't work. The chord pads are not set up to receive uh, uh, MIDI file drops um, and they won't take it from an internal MIDI track either. What the chord pads are set up to receive is drops from the Cubase chord track. So the way we do this is we're going to take the chords, we're going to get them onto the chord track, and then we're going to drop them uh, onto the chord pads. Uh, the process, we have to create a chord track. Okay, now the chord track exists. So now we can highlight this, uh, this set of chords. We'll come up to Project, and we'll go Chord Track, Create Chord Events. And we're going to go ahead and include everything, the bass notes and the tensions. And now we see on the chord track, we have chords and uh, markers, scale events, I should say, not markers. Uh, these chords, now that we have them on the chord track, we can highlight them and drop them onto the chord pads. Nice, right? So if I, uh, I could do that whole process again if I wanted to. You see, I just did the first eight because the eight is what I had here. And they went in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, and these labels match these labels. That's it. That's how you can uh, get chords uh, out of Scalar and into the Cubase chord pads. You can load up a set of chord pads after you've done that. You can, uh, you can save a preset. Uh, easily done. And then so it's a really rather quick process. You can always come over out to the right if there's other things in your project and you want to do that completely out of the way uh, and then delete delete what you've done and then come back to your project. Um, I hope this video has helped. Thanks. Enjoy.